When something's troubling you, there's nothing more therapeutic than a long chat with a really good friend. But sometimes that's not enough, and it might be that finding a therapist or a counsellor is the answer. Well, I'm delighted to be joined today by Louise Chun, who's the former editor of Psychology's magazine and also an award-winning mental health journalist. Louise is also the founder of a website called welldoing.org, and she's going to talk to us today about how her website can help you find a therapist that's suitable for your needs. Hi Louise, thanks so much for joining us today. Hi, Harris, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. And um, I'm very excited about this interview and we want to talk good. about um, the, why it is that single mums may or may not be a particular group in need of therapy or is maybe a good friend enough? Well, I think, you know, we all need friends, don't we? Yeah. And I think uh, when you're when you're a single mum, I think you need them probably more than at any other time. Uh, I think that uh, therapists are something that's really great and lots of people really benefit from them, but they're not the only answer. You know, I would always say that. I think that there are lots of, um, certainly in the sort of thing I've been doing with welldoing.org, we have lots of information there that doesn't, wouldn't put you anywhere near seeing a, a therapist. They might It might be written by a therapist, but, okay. you know, one, one of the things when you're a single mum is you usually don't don't have a lot of money and no. uh you know i imagine we'll get on to that but but sure. um you know i i um i've been a single mum at a, you know one point in my life mm -hmm. for a few years and um i did see somebody uh and i think it was really useful and i think you often find that um therapists um will give concessions to people who they can see cannot afford to pay as much as they might get from other people Okay, that, that's an interesting point. We'll probably talk, cover that a little bit more later. But just to, to yeah. reiterate, you know, the need for, for therapy, um, is it, I mean, we might all have good friends, some of us might not have such mm -hmm. good friends. But mm -hmm. what, what makes having a therapist perhaps something that is better than just talking to a friend? Well, it depends on lots of variables, doesn't it? I mean, you know, you're a single mum, you may have issues that are to do with how you're bringing up your kids or in your relationship with their father uh, or mother, or um, you may also um, have problems in your relationship with your own family or even with other um, friends, you know, people, relationships, relationships are a really big thing that lots and lots of people have problems with. And it's quite difficult. Um, you know, I, I think a lot of people find in talking to friends, mm -hmm. friends will often be really loving and really supportive, but you don't always get um, the best advice. They often have their own experiences that they're bringing oh, okay. or they may simply want to be, you know, mirroring it right back at you so that they, they'll they never quest, they'll never say, but do you really think that your partner was meaning to do this when they sent your son back with dirty shoes? Do you, mm -hmm. Is it possible that it was right. not an act of aggression or, you know, because a lot of, um, in relationships, a lot of things can become much more difficult. Certainly I know in something like relationship counseling, one of the things they talk about is say, don't say always and don't say never. Okay. And it's really hard if you're angry with somebody or, <laughs> yeah. or things are not good, mm -hmm. you discover that you say always and never all the time. You always is leave the right? cups on them yeah. and you never do. And uh -huh. you realize that actually that's something that your friends will let you do, mm -hmm. you know, ad infinitum because they love you and they want you to feel supported so really what they're not no. telling you necessarily what you need to hear but what they think you want to hear to make you feel better and that's quite the, often yeah and in the long yeah. term that's no good yeah. we need to be told have constructive yeah. criticism to be able to put us back on the right path sometimes sometimes yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and then there's also things you know some people see therapists because there are you know deeper darker things that have happened in their past and sure. um they you you might you know many people think oh I you know that was that wasn't good obviously but I'm out of that now yes. and I'll just get on with life and that and that is great and there will be lots of people who can that that's the way it'll work but there will be quite a few mm -hmm. who can be really blindsided by 
the fact that they're they they are in some way compromised by what's happened either in their childhood or in, in you know in a difficult time of their life yeah. and um, it can lead to patterns and ways of dealing with things you can be very defensive mm -hmm. or you can you can actually you know sort of close clo well I mean there are just lots and lots of things that come sure. from when you're young okay. um, and also I think um, you know the other thing about seeing a therapist is you know, you they, they it's not like they tell you the answers. You know, they no. they lead you, they lead you mm -hmm. to discovering yourself. And I think everybody can do with a bit of that sometimes. Absolutely, because none of us have straightforward pasts, do we? Um, and so, and a, and a friend really isn't qualified to do that. So, and and also, it's probably a nice thing to to have that outlet anyway. To think that you know, once every week or once every month, or whatever it is, you've got that opportunity to get things off your chest and have someone professional yes. take an objective yes. point of view with you. Um, so I think it's great. I mean, there are many different types of therapy, and they're not. You know, that's the thing I think important for the people who might be watching this sure. is, you know, you can go and see somebody six times mm -hmm. and, you know, that might amount to, say, 300 pounds. That right. would be in, in, London, in London, maybe. Okay. Um, and that could be the best 300 pounds you've ever spent. That could sure. be way better than holidays, yes, uh, all those kind point. of things. If, if what you get out of it, mm -hmm. it really does last with you and really does make you think, you know, I was understood and now... I, you know, I was heard and now I have much better, you know, people talk about having tools from therapy that, that's given them a great, greater knowledge of how to get into a better position. That makes sense. I mean, I like the analogy with holidays as well, because we all love our holidays, but if actually therapy is more, you know, we can have a holiday every once a week if we go to therapy and then yeah. as you say, have the, well, the tools to put us yeah. on the right track um, long term. I mean, it's, it's not always. It isn't. All, it isn't always pleasurable by a long way. Sometimes no. it's really difficult. Mm -hmm. So you've got to. You've got to know that. I think. Sure. Um, but I think if you find the right. Per to me, it, what the real key is is finding the right person. And when we built um, Well Doing, that we really. Sp that's what we worked on. We felt that the other directories didn't really go mm -hmm. as far as you could. Um, to do it so that you are really driven towards the people who are most suited to you. Because that's, okay. if you're with the wrong therapist, you may as well not go. And, in fact, it can be damaging. Sure. So, you know, it's a good thing to, 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 you know, get some kind of a match or at least to understand enough about it mm -hmm. to pick the right person. Yeah, I was going to ask you, because your, your um, website, welldoing.org, it very cleverly matches people to therapists, which is, I've never seen yeah. done before. So yeah. can you talk us through the process of how that is actually done? Done. Yes, what we do is we, um, uh, if you're looking for a therapist, you come onto uh, our questionnaire and you're asked very simple questions. They're not jargon therapy heavy questions. They're very simple. Mm -hmm. And they're tr it's trying to get from you, it's trying to limit what you think the issue is. So okay. for me, you know, the most common thing at the moment is, you know, I have problems with anxiety. It's right. a very common thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you're also asked things like, um, you know, obviously where you live and you would rather see a man or a woman mm -hmm. um, but also you're asked if you want to go to deal with the situation as it is okay. to dig to dig deeper to, mm -hmm. the, therefore you'd be looking at more psychodynamic sort of work where you're talking about your childhood and your family right. um, also a mix of the two quite a lot of therapists do a mix of those okay. or else do a mind and body quite a lot of people like doing things like um, we have therapists who do uh, things like art therapy or biodynamic massage therapy. That's oh, a type of good. type of psychotherapy. Right. Yeah. Okay. So there are all different ways of coming at it. Mm -hmm. Or you might think, you know, actually what I most need to do mm -hmm. is give up smoking, something like that. And so you can actually do it where you just actually then find a hypnotherapist, I would say, would be the best thing to deal oh, with that. So you, you'd get mm -hmm. the questionnaire and you say, for example, yeah. um, I'm struggling to give up smoking and you'll put that there'll be a question for that and yeah. it will lead you to probably yeah. a, a hypnotherapist well it choice. would lead you to someone dealing in, in addictions because okay. that would be in there and then there are lots of hypnotherapists who deal with addictions okay that leads yeah. me nicely to another question because a lot of people might think well I'm not sure if the therapists are safe and and how how can yeah. you be assured that well 
that is they're all place. they're all members of the uh, major accredited uh, membership organizations which all okay. have ethics codes and all of those members have to be insured right. so you know we we are absolutely uh, as as strict as any of the other directories and making sure that they are all members okay I mean yeah. it's, sometimes people turn to things like the yellow pages and look for um, therapist and to, in my mind that's probably a more dangerous thing to do they want to turn to a, an established yeah. website or directory that has that accreditation behind yeah. it yes I, I agree I agree okay and then we touched on cost before um obviously yeah. the other the fallback is that people don't feel that they can afford a weekly therapist which could be about yes. I don't know 50 to 70 pounds on average well out, outside or? outside of London okay. I think you could you you would you could be looking at um you know as well, I was going to say as little as, but it could be it could be around about thirty five pounds okay. in some in some areas outside of London. Right. In like in London, mm -hmm. it can get much more expensive. But we also have people who uh, charge fifty pounds, for example. Okay. But it can go up to sort of eighty, ninety, etc. I think most therapists want to see people weekly, and right. then. Uh, Eventually, if you stay with them for longer, mm -hmm. you can quite often negotiate so that you're seeing them fortnightly. Right. Um, okay. But the other thing is you can get cheaper uh, deals by mm -hmm. saying that you, uh, you know, most of uh, uh, on our site, you can tick a box that says show me only therapists who offer concessions. Ah, that's and so that's really useful. Mm -hmm. And most therapists have a few that they give concessions to, okay, you know, great. either you know, either unemployed or low waged or, you know, I am absolutely sure that being a single parent would be one of the kinds of things that they sure, would look upon sympathetically. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's really good to know. Yeah. Um, so just before I let you go, can you tell us a little bit more about where we can find more about you and your website? Okay. We'll go to the website. It's okay. called welldoing.org. Okay. Uh, and it has lots of stuff about how I set it up and why I set it up. Um, and also lots of the uh, newspaper and magazine uh, features that have been about us or by me. Because okay. I'm, a, I'm a former editor of Psychology's magazine. Right. And so I've, I've always been really interested in uh, content, um, but also in mental health. You know, I think... Sure. You know, I think, um, you know, like many people, I've had time seeing people, I've had problems, mm -hmm. and I've found that talking to, to somebody really helps. You know, I really feel that yes. that it's a, a great thing. Um, you know, it's not for everybody, and some people, mm -hmm. you know, some people with depression will say, but I think I'm much better on my antidepressants, and I think mm -hmm. that, you know, that could be true. It's, sure. it's you know, it's, a, it's an individual um, experience in many ways, but I think if you can get the right person, yeah, that's definitely. a really critical start. I would yeah. say no, I that's mean, what I think yeah. we've done. You know, that's yeah. what I'm really proud of. No, that's wonderful. I mean, I've, I've seen the site and I'm and I'm a big fan, and it's lovely to have right. something that we can actually turn to and have a you know a, a therapist tailored to our own needs. And yeah. as you say, I guess the the big take home message message is that you know you've got to find one that suits you, and and not yes. every therapist is going to suit everybody. So yeah, you have to absolutely. Keep, find yeah, you know, go to find yeah. the right one. Exactly. That's Exactly. Well, thanks so much for bringing us all that information. Uh, okay, Louise, Harriet, nice talking to you. Talking to you. All right, okay. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Bye. Well, I hope you found that as interesting as I did. Being a single mum isn't easy, and sometimes it might be of benefit to to seek out the help of a professional therapist or counsellor to chat to on a regular basis, and not only help with our current issues, but maybe dig deeper and look at the, some historical issues and help us to come to terms with them and enable us to move forwards feeling happier and with the tools to, to do so. But in the meantime, if you've got any questions that relating to this topic or any other wellbeing topics, please email me, harriet, H-A-R-R-I-E-T-T, at wellbeingexaminer.com and I'll do my best to find another expert to interview. And one favour, please, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to this channel, I'm going to point in both directions because it's in one corner and I'm not quite sure which way to point. So please check that out and also give me a thumbs up if you like this video and that enables me to know what you like and what you don't like and also hopefully helps me to continue making these videos. In the meantime, please stay happy, healthy single mums.